Well, hello. And welcome back to the backlog. And welcome to a special early release preview of Bulwark Falconeer. Chronicles. This is the demo. I'm super excited to actually be trying this out. I ignored the original Falconeer because it looked like it was going to be one of those like walking simulators, but you're flying in the air. This is totally not this. This is supposed to be like a city builder, uh, very akin to like Islanders, but with more advanced with like you can attack things or request allies to defend you. So let's dive in. Let's get into this uh, early access demo here and show you what Falconeer Chronicles Bulwark will be like when it comes out this year. And so here we are. This is the free play mode. It's not part of the campaign. So uh, we are right here and it's kind of dropped us down randomly across the map. And there are s s smelly log, log floater, mm -hmm. Oberon's Reach, New Remit, uh, Redmouth Forge. We're over here in Stargazer right next to the Shard and the maw which sound amazing but we've got our little base set up and we're gonna go ahead and get a here you set up a set up a wood little wood base here just right over here yeah set that up and now we're just gonna connect it from our base to the wood base which we can't do oh no Okay, you are in the wrong place, apparently. Sorry. <laughs> and this is this is a really fun part about this particular game, is it's it's not super resource intensive, you know. You'll notice there's no there's no list of resources that I currently have available sitting around. There's no like, hey, you you don't have enough stone to do that. You don't have enough wood to do that. I can just, um, I can just upgrade my base as I see fit because I think it looks cool. And this really, it really gives me like an Islanders kind of a vibe over here, especially with the storm and the thunder. And then one right here. Oh yeah. We're looking real good. Looking real good. We do need to build though and grab some stone and some ore. So let's go back to our ship. You use your surveyor to go out and establish new bases and new colonies and new work sites like so. Yes, yes. And now we need a port. Can I put a port here? Oh, come on. Let me. Oh, there's a port there. Just enough to put a port. Perfect. All right. Now we got to put the other side of the port close to our base. So they're all connected together. And then it'll do all of the logistics of moving the resources from one place to the next. So I can just get this up here close and say, yeah, I want this port right here. Well, let's say, and it's just, it's auto automatically connected. Perfect. Love it. And now that we have stone, I should be able to remake this with stone. Very nice. And can I just connect directly to the port? I can. And then you, can we remake this, but out of stone? Kind of. Oh, I like that. It's got a drawbridge and everything. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't tell them to make that. They'd made that on their own. Yes, and now can we upgrade this some more because we've got stone? Nope, nope. We need more than just stone to upgrade it. So, back to the ship. Let's go connect up some iron. Oh, that's iron. That's iron. This is the stone. All right. Now, well, let's see. Can we get lucky with the stone here? 
I need to put a port a harbor. Just like so. And I'm, I'm trying to be careful with my resources because you can see this is the demo. It only allows you to place seven buildings. And so I've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven. Uh, but once they're all placed, we can go anywhere. We can go explore. So we're going to go check out that maw and the dawn shard and the whatever. And see if we can get this connected just perfectly. Oh. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Huh. Every time it does that, it kind of winks out of existence. Hold on. Oh, oh, let me put it over here. Perfect. Ah, and then you can see it's got little buoys all the way over there. Now we should see on our map. Yes, we've connected our stone and we've connected our, our, um, what is that? Our iron ore. Can I remake this? Yes. A strong citadel. Perfect. Wow. And can we upgrade? Oh, come on. I want to upgrade. <laughs> it's not letting me upgrade. But I suppose... I will have to allow it. Oh, we've got spotlights now. Oh, cool. All right. I actually want to build a watchtower up over here. So let's build... A nice new tower with our cool staircases going on. And then we're going to upgrade this tower. We're going to upgrade this tower as much as it'll let us. Hmm, okay. So that's as much as it'll let us without... Putting new buildings on. All right, here. <laughs> and here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so gratuitously fun. I love it. This looks like something out of Star Trek or Star Wars. Yes. Yes. My own fancy place. Now I can add more floors. How high can I make it? Probably about that high. Oh, and then I can add on even more. Yes. Yes. Because why wouldn't I add on even more? And then we can assign a... Uh, a commander. Oh, but we don't have any commanders, do we? Yeah, we don't have any commanders. All right. Let's go do some exploring. And we'll see what we find in this nebulous and scary empty world. Naughty Lock Basilicus. What's this over here? Oh. The Maw. That's what it is. Oh, and these cool things. Warning people. Yeah, don't go over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's real nice. Hmm. 
And you can see we've set up this whole thing over here and we've still only used... We've still only used nine of our 15 buildings. And uh, I'm guessing in the free play mode, it doesn't have all of the events and stuff. So let me switch over to the tutorial mode. I'll get through the tutorial and then I'll show you some of the cool uh, events that you can happen upon. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left, in order to resettle in peace, away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command tower. These are desperate times. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. All right, so there we have it. We've just finished the tutorial. We've got our stone quarry, our wood mill, our harbor, which is leading. We're actually over here now, leading our harbor on over here. I don't know why they went down and around. They should look. They should totally go up and around. I don't know why they don't. But they're connected here, and now we are ready to go out and go exploring. Um, so let's see here. This is our citadel, and we can't get it any higher. But that's fine. That's fine. We got 300 population. Can we get this any bigger? Because we have a 15, uh, a 15 limit. But making this bigger doesn't cost us any more. And it seems to be adding to the population. So that's good. I suppose. I suppose. All right. So let's go exploring on the with our ship. Horizon. Yes, buildings on the horizon. Let's go get them. Bring me that horizon. Forces have joined our battle group. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, yes. Hello. Hi. Nice to this meet you. Place has seen better days. It has seen so better days. Let's happen. take it. <laughs> All right. You can see that actually uh, increased our limit to ten because uh, these guys are not connected. So let's get rid of them. Destroy them, and now we can pick up this outpost. And now we've got another outpost that we can actually just go put down. So let me do some more exploring, and uh, we'll see if we can find a good place to put that outpost. And you can see, yeah, this changes the the image. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't want to put it down right there. Accidental placement. Bring it back. Bring it back. All right, let's come down here. There are other factions at work throughout the Earth. Their settlements can be sources of trade or targets for conquest. When we need resource extractors, these are the places that have them. You decide how they are dealt with. Beware <laughs> of the consequences of war. Yes, so we found a uh, not quite friendly, but not quite angry person, and we can talk with them. And all of its C3 production are for the Banalists. They say it's under our protection. The bannerless. Yep, so we could declare war on them, possibly take them over, and then we'd be able to put down a uh, um, a wood mill wherever we wanted. But he's really close, so we can just a kind of... trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Yeah. Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains, that will provide the required... Yeah, come on over here. All right, so now we've put down the one harbor. Now we got to go down and put down another harbor. And then it'll transport the goods from one place to the other. And workers uh, back and forth. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Ah, there we go. Another refugee, refugee settlement. There are uh, a lot of other different options other than just refugee settlements, but... 
These are good. Oh, that's a big refugee settlement. Wow. Quite expensive. This meager holding was always a last resort. Yeah, yeah, we'll take you. We'll take you. And now you can see we are above the demo limit. Does it allow me to... Continue to mess with stuff? No. Just to demolish. Okay. Take it, old town. And now we still have two that we can place. Okay, and one of those is actually our own alignment. So let's head way down south here and see if we can find anything cool. And I imagine in the full game, I would be doing a whole lot of this. Just wandering around the map, having a great time, exploring things, discovering new things, getting myself in trouble, finding friends and enemies. And betweens. All right, we've not found any events, but we have found some new locations for wood and stone. Which means this is probably a good location to drop off one of these. Yeah, we'll put you right here. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power for your settlement. Yes, yes. Yeah, and it's not letting me actually put out... <laughs> it's not actually letting me put out. So, I, you know, I mean, I'll just, uh, I'll just stay put then, shall I? You're going to stay here for forever and ever and like it. All right, let's head back to the, have back to the, we'll come over here and then head back to the main area. Because I want to drop this outpost close to us because it's my own, has been my own kind. Horizon. Perhaps. Oh, again, a big our one. Research, our, our research. Yeah, 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 we'll take you. Just go ahead and uh, pack up shop. I do like the fact that you always have your little compass going on here. And then uh, just kind of little warnings. Hey, this is your home. It's this way. And this is, I don't know what this is. We've discovered something. Let's head for it. Something on the horizon. Yeah. Let's meet up with it. And see what it is. Is it friend or foe? We have found our new patron. We seek trade and haulage. Ooh. Something I gather you might need. Oh, uh, gain a transport vessel. Workers, wood, stone, and iron. Increases Imperium alignment if placed. Yes. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Do I uh, control them now? Our settlements too. No, I don't. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, I just have the captain. I don't have the boat. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go explore. All right. Let's place this down right here. Excellent. We have an outpost. And it. Yeah, it doesn't let us place workers. Yeah, yeah, okay. There is no stone available for this upgrade. No, there's not. Okay, fine. Um, I don't you have, have no available resource extractor. A resource extractor. And I can't place out a harbor. Looks like switch to buildings, build outpost. Move, sur move surveyor and resource flow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not letting me. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what's up with the outposts, but they're there. I can't do anything with them. But you can see I've got population now in these two. Oh, actually, let's come up here. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Another one? Perhaps we can take these people in. Yeah, well, let's put these people down here. <laughs> okay, good. Come on up here. Yeah, yeah. See, now we've got population in all kinds of places. 
Who are you and what are you doing? This Mika holding was old. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Don't worry. We're going to destroy it and make it better. Uh, let's start putting them up here. You've reached the limit of this demo. Oh, I have reached the limit of the demo. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. Here's my soul tree. All right. Uh, let's see here. Point defenses, heavy guns, pyro missiles. In surveyor hold. I've got a wood mill. I have no wood mills, no stone quarries, and no iron mines. Okay. Yeah, okay. So there we have it. And what's my soul tree? What? Faction population, outposts, citadels, captains active, commanders active. Yep. <laughs> Captain Hibbard. <laughs> and Manser, we're neutral with the Mansers, the Imperium, and the Bannerless. All right. Who are you? Oh, yeah, this is our, uh, we just picked up What's-Her-Face. Very nice. We have reports of something strange ahead. Oh. Well, then let's come down here and forget about the refugees. Ooh. It is something strange. What is it? Discover it! What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Okay, cool. What does that do? It said businesses appear. Um, what do we got? Okay, yeah, we got one construct we can put down. None of those. None of those. Oh, there's another ship. Go get it. This wood mill and all of its C3 production are for the Vanalis. Okay, so what if what if we declare war on them? What happens? Oh, we can just Whoa. We just turned on our allies, and now they don't like us very much. <laughs> Burn them to the ground, destroy them all. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. That's not nice. I'm busily trying to raid you. <laughs> oh no. Can I can I pick up their sawmill and place it somewhere like more convenient for me or what? I mean, this seems like a perfectly good sawmill. I don't know why we're attacking, but I suppose we've almost won the day. Take him out. We are at war. All traitors come. This would be what's a little quarrel. Demand settlement Take surrender. It, we will remember this slight. This conquest will escalate the war. Oh. We can expect the enemy to strike back stronger, attempting to lay waste to your survey. We are now at risk of being raided by pirates. Our wealth and prosperity is too tempting not to be taken. We shall need to defend ourselves. Yes, but unfortunately... You've reached the limit of this demo. Uh, we've reached the limit of this demo. So we can't do that. You have no available commanders on your roster. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Earth. Can I pick up the wood mill? I can. I can. I've got a wood mill I can lay down now. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see here. I've got a person over here and a person over here. Let's go this way. You got a nice wood mill possibility right next to you. What if we placed it down, huh? Your surveyor can build a wood mill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. Yeah, yeah. 
So what if we, um... What if we built to here? Huh? What do you think? Now you've got wood. Can you be upgraded there is no now? There's no stone available for this upgrade. There's no stone. Fine. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. They don't like me very much. They are on fire. Oh, and I do have another person to put down. Well, so there you have it. Um, just a few of the possible events that they've already put into the game that you can run along it's it's not your your typical 4x game where you're out there exploring and fighting and making a huge ruckus you could spend the entire game not fighting at all and just making the biggest friends of all the people and try your best to say sorry when you accidentally shoot them um it, it's just a, it's just a fun little game and i'm really exciting i'm really excited when the uh when the full game comes out, we're definitely going to be playing it here on the back lot. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, and I'll see you again next time here on the back lot.